Rocker Bottom Footwear. Pain Free Foot. 24 December 2022. Rocker Bottom Footwear. Pain Free Foot. 24 December 2022. Introduction. Footwear with rocker soles are best known for helping to redistribute plantar pressures during gait in patients with diabetes, but research suggests they also have clinically relevant effects on balance and gait that can be beneficial for some populations but potentially dangerous for others. By Greg Gardulo, although shoes were once used exclusively to protect the foot, they are now often used to improve the function of the feet and lower limbs as well. To this end, there has been an upswing of interest in various methods to modify locomotion to address specific the patient needs related to load modification, rehabilitation, and injury prevention. Rocker bottom soles, with added thickness and other design features intended to change gait mechanics, have been used to accomplish these goals for decades, and are currently the most commonly prescribed external therapeutic shoe modification. Next to foot orthotic devices, rocker bottom soles are the proverbial aspirin to chronic and temporary foot problems, said Arnie Davis, CPED, founder and owner of Davis Foot Comfort Center in San Francisco, who specializes in rocker soles. Like foot orthotics, rocker bottoms can offer a number of mechanical remedies, such as inhibiting excessive or painful joint motion, preventing unwanted compensation for immobile joints, diffusing and reducing ground reactive forces, and aiding in the harmony of movement when weight flows through the foot during gait. Lower extremity clinicians may not agree on all aspects of rocker sole utilization, but they do agree that the devices should be prescribed on a case-by-case -case basis. Potential applications for shoes with the rocker sole designs have become wide-ranging, and the biomechanics of how they impact gait has been well researched. Several studies also suggest rockers can be effective for managing gait issues associated with numerous conditions, including Achilles tendinopathy, neosteonegation arthritis, OA, claudication, hemiplegia, plantar fasciitis, chronic low back pain, first metatarsophalangeal, MTP, joint OA, and following ankle arthrodesis. But walking and running in rocker sole shoes also comes with drawbacks and risks, which are primarily related to the way they alter balance. Some studies suggest rocker soles can negatively affect wearer's balance and in some may even increase the risk for falls and injury. Situational instability intentionally interfering with balance was the core concept behind Maasai Barefoot Technology, MBT, shoes, which were designed to transform flat, hard surfaces into unstable surfaces to enhance functional performance and address gait-related issues. MBTs and similarly designed toning shoes experienced a surge in popularity in the late 2000s, but several models did not live up to their claims, and attention surrounding them has waned. On the whole, though, the existing data have not yet reached a clear conclusion on the basic effects of rocker bottom shoes on walking performance. Although rockers appear beneficial for certain applications, the jury is still out for others and prescribing them must therefore be done cautiously and on a case-by-case -case basis. Rocker sole footwear produces significant changes in lower limb biomechanics and has the potential to alter function in both a beneficial and detrimental manner, said Hilton Menz, PhD, a senior research fellow, and professor in the College of Science, Health and Engineering at La Trobe University in Melbourne, Australia. When used appropriately, such footwear may be a useful adjunct treatment for some musculoskeletal disorders. However, rocker sole footwear is not suitable for everyone, so their selection needs to be carefully considered. Biomechanical factors. Research on the therapeutic use of rocker soles dates to at least 1950, and a 1991 Schaff and Cavanagh study found rocker soles reduced peak plantar pressures by 30% in the medial forefoot central forefoot, and toe regions compared with a conventional extra-depth shoe, suggesting rockers may help reduce the risk of ulceration in these foot region. This can be especially beneficial for patients with diabetic perinegation for an neuropathy in danger of developing ulcers. In this context, a sole with the forefoot rocker pattern is used to functionally relocate the apex of the forefoot rocker the posterior to the metatarsal heads, which reduces pressure on the met heads and promotes the transition from mid-stance to toe-off during gait. 
But reducing ulceration risk is far from the only function rocker soles can serve, and the four-foot rocker is just one of many variations in their design. It is important to understand that rocker shoes can be used to alter the biomechanics of walking and running in a number of different ways, said Steve Preece, Ph.D., Deputy Director of the Centre for Health Science Research and Research Fellow at the University of Salford in the UK. While in people with diabetes, the objective is to reduce plantar pressures, the aim in other patient populations will often be to reduce or alter other biomechanical parameters, such as altering joint moments or changing muscle activation patterns. According to Chapman et al., rocker soles have three key design features apex angle, apex position, and rocker angle. By tweaking and modifying these features, a variety of designs can be created and further customized, each with its own biomechanical goal. In addition to the four-foot rocker, also known as the metatarsal head rocker, which Davis said is the most common, and sort of the general rocker bottom other designs include the metatarsophalangeal joint rocker, auto-only rocker, negative heel rocker, double sole rocker, Les Frank rocker, and ankle joint rocker. Design Trade-Offs A 2004 Brown et al. study 28 identified unique trade-offs with three rocker sole designs in healthy individuals. See for those about to rock, we caution you December 2009, page 18. The toe-only rocker gave the best forefoot relief but increased pressure on the midfoot, while the double rocker sole was effective for individuals with a prominent fifth metatarsal base or a rocker bottom foot deformity and the negative rocker functioned similarly to the toe-only rocker, but with slightly more reported stability. This is not the only evidence of trade-offs in rocker sole use. A 2017 Sobani et al. study which was associated with two earlier studies, evaluated the effect of rockers on running mechanics in endurance runners with Achilles tendinopathy. They compared a standard running shoe with a modified version of the same shoe with a stiffened rocker placed 53% proximal to the metatarsal region. They found the rockers were associated with reduced positive and negative work, as well as internal plantar flexion moment, at the ankle, however, they also were associated with increased mechanical work at the knee joint. The findings suggest that this type of rocker may help to decrease the load on the Achilles tendon, but may also increase the risk of overuse injuries at the knee joint. Knee load was higher when running with the rocker shoes compared with neutral shoes, which is a warning sign people should be aware of, said lead author Soban Sobani, PT, PhD, an assistant professor of physiotherapy and research coordinator in the Faculty of Rehabilitation Sciences at Shiraz University of Medical Sciences in Iran. We never recommended rocker shoes to be used as a permanent running shoe, and have always suggested wearing them as an adjunct load management option, especially at the beginning phase of Achilles tendon rehabilitation. We still need additional clinical trials to check the clinical efficacy of rocker shoes in the management of Achilles tendinopathy. Other research has shown that combining rockers with orthoses or integrating them into orthotic designs may elicit benefits, as well. In a 2012 study by Fong et al., the combination of toe-only rock negation uh, shoes and a custom-made foot orthosis was associated with a significantly lower visual analog scale pain score than either of the two modifications alone in patients with unilateral plantar fasciitis. Two separate 2016 Farmani et al. Studies investigated the impact of rockers on the gait of hemiplegic stroke patients, with one evaluating AFOs when paired with either a standard or rocker sole shoe, and the other comparing solid ankle foot orthoses to rocker AFOs. Both found that rockers were associated with positive effects, including improved gait abilities and functional mobility and decreased energy expenditure. In a similarly designed 2015 randomized controlled trial, RCT, Men's and colleagues compared the effectiveness of prefabricated foot orthoses to rocker shoes for first metatarsophalangeal joint toa. Our trial essentially found no difference between the two interventions in regard to foot pain, as both groups improved to a similar degree. Men's said.
where the two interventions most differed was in relation to adherence, as many participants had difficulty incorporating rocker sole shoes into their normal workplace attire. And though our trial suggests rockers are effective, a previous randomized trial 23 did not demonstrate any benefits of them over flat sole shoes in managing low back pain. The metatarsophalangeal osteoarthritis study and the low back pain study both used Maasai barefoot MBT shoes for their rocker sole interventions, which has become a rather common practice in the recent literature. Maasai Barefoot, MBT, shoes originated in Switzerland in 1996 and debuted in North America in 2003. The shoe has a rounded sole in the anterior-posterior direction and a cushioned sensor under the heel area that creates a natural degree of instability to activate, strengthen, and condition neglected extrinsic foot muscles and provide benefits that are similar to those of barefoot locomotion, see unstable shoe designs, functional implications, March 2011, page 31. There have been a number of studies on unstable shoes, mostly on walking activities, and the literature suggests that they generally have similar biomechanics to heel to toe rocker profile shoes, Sobani said. Because of their unstable feature, they are believed to increase energy expenditure and are thus recommended as a good physical fitness and balance training tool, but the evidence is controversial. Although McRae et al. found Maasai barefoot shoes were no more beneficial than flat sole shoes in affecting disability and pain in people with chronic low back pain, in 2014 randomized control study wearing unstable shoes for six weeks was associated with significantly decreased chronic low back pain but had no significant effect on the quality of life and disability scores. A 2013 study conducted by Butchecker et al found that using unstable shoes during level walking decreased mechanically demands on the lower body due to diminished joint moments and powers. The authors suggested this may help reduce the risk of hip and or knee osteoarthritis, but comes at the expense of less mechanical input to the biological structures of locomotion. Two other studies looked specifically into using Maasai barefoot shoes as a potential management intervention for knee oa. Tetuchi et al found they reduced knee flexion moment during walking without increasing compensatory trunk lean, while Madden et al. in found that peak knee adduction moment was lower in MBT shoes than non-rocker shoes, but still higher than during barefoot walking. Ankle joint rocker. Inhibits demand for motion in ankle joint. Less frank rocker. Reduces the propulsive force to midfoot. Met head rocker. Reduces the ground force to metatarsal heads. MPJ Rocker. Inhibits demand for dorsiflexion of toes. Heel Rocker. Reduces the ground reactive force to heel. Healing Rocker. Holds foot dorsiflexed to offload forefoot.